Hey guys, Miss Smith is here. I'm going to be doing word study C practice with you. So our directions say choose two words that best explain or define the bold root word. For number one, we have the word visualize. Our choices are imagine, mental, video, and movie. All right, based on our definition of visualize, I know that you are going to picture something in your mind. So that's not going to be a video and that's not going to be a movie. So that leaves me with imagine and mental. Number two is the word vista. We have indoors, view, outside, and ugly. So with the vista, we're talking about something we're looking at outside. So indoors is gonna be marked out. And chances are you're not gonna just stare at something that's ugly. So you're going to pick view and outside. Number three is the word visionary. We have creative, lazy, inventive, and loving. Now I know that a visionary comes up with a lot of ideas. They make new things. So there's a very good chance they are not going to be lazy. And our definition really doesn't say anything about loving. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that one out. So that leaves me with inventive and creative. Number four is audible. We have quiet, muffled, loud, and hear. Well, if something is audible, it's a sound that you are able to hear. So there's a good chance it will not be quiet and it's not going to be muffled because that would make it hard to hear as well. So that leaves me with loud and hear. Number five is audition. We have tryout, practice, interview, and play. Well, I know that an audition is not the actual play. You are auditioning to be in the play. And an audition is not really practice. You've already practiced or rehearsed before you audition for something. So that leaves me with interview and tryout. Next is the word audience. We have performer, musical, watchers, and spectators. All right, well, I know that an audience is not the person doing the performance, and an audience is not going to be a musical, so that leaves me with the audience would be the people who are watching, which could also be called spectators. Number seven is the word auditorium. We have theater, closet, school, and concert hall. All right, so if we look at these, an auditorium is going to be a large room where a show or concert or something like that is taking place. So that's not going to be in a closet. And there are auditoriums at school, but that does not mean that the school itself is the auditorium. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that one out also. So that leaves me with a theater and a concert hall. Number eight is cacophony. We have symphony, pleasant, harsh, and noisy. All right, with this word, I know that it's talking about a lot of noise that's loud, it's not very pleasant, it's not anything you wanna be around. So we're gonna mark out pleasant. A symphony is going to be a group of instruments making noise that sounds good, that people enjoy listening to. So that really doesn't go with our definition either. So I'm gonna choose harsh and noisy. Number nine is xylophone. We have music, instrument, violin, and guitar. All right, well, I know a xylophone is an instrument However, it is not a violin and it is not a guitar. So that leaves us with music and instrument because it's going to be an instrument that makes music. And number 10, we have phonograph. We have pictures, records, MP3, and music. All right, well, I know that a phonograph doesn't have anything to do with pictures. I know that a phonograph does involve music. MP3 is going to be similar to the type of things that we use today to listen to music. So I know that that's probably not going to be my answer, but then records would make sense here because you put the records on the phonograph. 